So attributes are used to describe either entities or relationships even better, which means they'll give you more description about what we are representing, right? For example, the more attributes we have, the better information we could get. For example, I'll let us say person, you know, name, name is an attribute, is, maybe address, phone number, all these are attributes. The more attributes we keep on adding to an entity, the more information we get for that entity and uh, you know, the better way we could describe it. So attributes are actually going to increase the way we describe an entity and it is very useful in terms of uh, you know queries. Okay, later we shall see that why attributes are important. But for now, let's say attributes are useful, right? And they are going to be uh, mo main use of it is describing something. Okay. Now, what are the various types of attributes? Is uh, there are various ways I'm going to classify attributes. So let's classify all of them and and then we shall describe uh, and then we shall discuss about what is the relationship between one classification and the other, right? So let's take this simple one. Assume that person is an entity right and now person will be having a name these are all the attributes right name is an attribute which will describe a person and maybe age is an attribute right and uh, it, it will even better describe a person and maybe address is an attribute maybe phone number is also an attribute right now let's see uh, what does it mean first one is we can classify attributes as simple attributes and composite attributes. So simple and composite means, you know, simple means it cannot be divided further. Composite means it can even be divided further. For example, if you take name, we can divide it further. Like you can say a person is having first name, middle name, last name, right? So even name can be divided into composed of three, right? First name, middle name and last name. Got it? Uh, now, what does it mean? A per, actually, name is an attribute which is composed of uh, many attributes, right? That is why it is called as composite attribute because it is composed of many attributes. And these are called simple. Simple attributes means they cannot be divided further. Got it? So, they are, no, they cannot be divided further. That is why they are called simple. And sometimes what happens is, even though we have an attribute, an entity might not have any value for that attribute. For example, you might not have a middle name. You might have just the first name and a last name. But then in order to save your data into this uh, particular entity, what we are supposed to have is we have to fill the entire information, right? Then what we do is null values. We introduce null values to say either the value does not exist or the value is not applicable, right? So what is the main, main difference between not applicable and, uh, you know, does not contain is? For example, phone number. Phone number is applicable to you, but you might not have a phone, right? Which means it does not exist. Not applicable means you might not have any middle name at all. That's why this field is not applicable for you. Either if it is not applicable for you or if it doesn't exist, we are going to use, uh, you know, null values, okay? Uh, so uh, here the main difference between composite and simple is composite is a collection of simple attributes and simple attributes cannot be even further divided. So name is a composite attribute, which is a collection of first name, middle name and last name and either first name or middle name or last name cannot be further divided. Okay. And next one is single valued attribute versus multi valued attribute. So single valued and multi valued means, you know, uh, just take an example. For example, you know, let us say phone number. A phone number may be multi valued attribute. The reason is some person might have more than one phone number. He might be using more than one phone number. Maybe one is a Delhi number, another is Hyderabad number, something like that, right? Then what happens is if you have two phone numbers, then the field, that attribute may be defined as multi-valued attribute, which will take more than one value, right? So example is phone number or maybe some, some people may be having two houses, right? Then maybe he, he must be having two house addresses, right? Therefore, an address can also be a multi-valued attribute what about is is cannot be a multi-valued attribute isn't it at any point of time a person will have only one is right and for most of the celebrities it is going to be constant right all the time anyway is is a single valued attribute whatever it is it has to be only one value if you cannot say that i am 10 years old and i am 100 years old right it, it has to be either 10 or 100 so it cannot be multi-valued so 
single valued means we are going to have only one value to such an we are going to assign only one value to such an attribute we will never assign more than one value right multi valued means it can take more than one value at the same time right and uh, what about stored stored and derived means we are going to store some information in our system and then others we don't we don't store them whenever they are required we derive them right for example i can have date of birth right then uh, depending on the date of birth i can actually derive age right therefore i need not store age i'll just uh, store date of birth and whenever it is required depending on the present date and the date of birth i'll just derive the age right therefore in that way age can be you know a derived value attribute and uh, date of birth can be a stored attribute all right so now if a, if an attribute happens to be one of these categories it doesn't mean that it, it cannot be the other one for example uh, you know this uh, let's take this name name is a composite attribute right as well as name is a single valued attribute because a person can have only one name he cannot have more than one name so even though the name is containing many sub parts it doesn't mean that a person is having many names right so at any point of time he is going to have only one name that name itself is a combination of uh, first name last name and middle name right therefore this is actually composite as well as single valued attribute right and what about is 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 single valued attribute you have only one value but it can be derived right therefore it is single valued as well as derived and what about address address may be a you know address may be either a single valued attribute or multi valued attribute right so let us say address is multi valued attribute you know in our system that that all depends on you the designer how you want it to be right and while designing it you can have it either to be single valued or multi valued let us say you defined it to be multi valued attribute then what happens to address address is a person can have more than one address right and moreover the address itself is a composite which means you know street name city name country pin code so address is actually composite and a person may have more than one addresses right then it is a collection of both multi valued as well as composite attributes right so such a attribute which is a collection of or a combination of multi you know composite and multi valued it is called as complex complex attribute complex attribute means it is com it is having many fields as well as the values are also many right so composite means a collection of sorry complex means a collection of composite and multi valued right so maybe you can even make this uh, phone number also as complex so if the phone number is going to contain std code and the telephone id and a person if is if he is going to have more than one phone number then it is multi valued as well as composite composite means containing of two attributes got it and date of birth date of birth is going to be single valued and it is stored attribute it cannot be derived it has to be stored right so the main way see i want to categorize a attribute to be either of composite or simple or like this or like this but then it doesn't mean that all these are mutually exclusive a single valued attribute can be simple attribute like that okay so anyway they are going to ask you you know by by specifying everything they'll specify everything and they'll ask you what type of attribute you know is so best suitable for this and let us say they'll you know in the description in the verbal description they'll say this a person in our database let us say an employee an employee in our company uh, can reside at any time in two flats uh, one is in one city headquarters and other is in its branch right now what should we define the address field to be address attribute to be a composite complex multi valued single value like this right so if they even say that address is going to contain uh, you know street name the street number and city pin code everything then you have to derive it this way see so let us say first thing is they are going to describe an employee is going to reside in two places 
right then what is the address address attribute going to be then the address attribute is going to be multi-valued right or they will say uh, you know an employee is going to have an address and address can co consist of uh, you know street number pin code city country everything then what is the address going to be address is going to be uh, you know composite and then they'll say an employee is having two addresses and address is going to contain all these fields then what is address going to be it is going to be complex got it right and let us say you know they'll you know they'll just you know just for the sake of an example let us say an employee is having a, you know phone number and at any time he is having a handheld you know this mobile device as well as a landline what type of attribute is the phone number going to be multi valued attribute got it and you know maybe let us say an employee is going to have name and the name is going to contain first name and last name what type of attribute would you suggest in the design so what is it it is a composite right so they are going to ask you which one is best suited which type of attribute is best suited in order to represent this particular feature of the entity that is you know you can just look at this and you can answer the such questions got it okay